doing it. All right. Let's take a look then. Let's review once again this beautiful, very exciting game. Love a bit of Battlefield 6. Let's try and break some things down. Maybe things that I saw in the trailer. Share my thoughts on it that maybe you guys didn't. I mean, this to me, it, it doesn't really look like it from that mountain. But this helipad, it did feel very Damavan Peak. Especially the old parachuting off. Don't know if that was intentional or not. But I do think there's a lot of old Battlefield maps in this game that are hidden in this trailer. That was hilarious. The... Dead. <laughs> I wouldn't really say that's a map in particular. That could be a new map in general. The music kicking in here is awesome. I think this could be a modern Suez Canal. Honestly, I could be completely wrong. But a... a, a, a Deserted, not deserted, you know what I mean? Beached. A beach boat in the middle of the desert. This, I think, is Noshar Canals at night. This is very this is very Noshar Canals to me. What do you think? You think it's Noshar? I think it is. That was, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting when I saw this the first time, but it was awesome. And then obviously, the dog tag's been taken. That does feel very Noshar though, definitely. There was a BF4 DLC in the snow that I kind of got the same vibes from them here. Don't, I think it's different now. I saw penguins there though. A lot of people didn't. I only watched it after like three or four times. There's actually loads of penguins here, look. <laughs> I like how they're just not evacuated from war, they're just happy to live it out. This is definitely a new map, but what an exciting idea of a rocket just taking off. I wonder if it kills you like the one on Black Ops 1 did when you was near it. Right, I think this is Dawnbreaker from Battlefield 4. You, you, I, I can't think of anything. It's definitely Dawnbreaker. It looks exactly the same. Although they've added some sand, so maybe it's like had a sandstorm. The ultimate Jabir here. This scene, that is definitely Dawnbreaker, isn't it? It's definitely. And that's obviously, that scene's taken from Black Hawk down. If you've seen Blackhawk Down, you probably recognise what the idea from that. This is obviously Die Hard 4.0. I was out of bullets. Doesn't that look crazy? And then obviously, I forget the guy name, but the guy who did it, Renizu, Renizu, something like that. The fact they put it in, that was a real nod to Battlefield 3. I, I respected the hell out of that. Completely unrealistic, but I did think it was pretty cool. <laughs> Imagine. I could watch this all day on repeat. I really could. It'd be that easy for me. I wonder how if they're going to put tornadoes in, in the multiplayer, how is that going to work? Am I just going to get yeeted when I'm like sniping or something? That seems cool, but a little bit... I don't know. Obviously it's a whole new level of evolution. I wonder how it works. I'm excited though. Very excited. I like how he jump, thinks jumping out in a wingsuit in a tornado is going to work out really well as well. Not sure how he's controlled, being accurately controlling that out of a tornado, but hey, it's Battlefield, we'll let him off. 
Very interesting that they went with Battlefield 2042 as the name, I think. Uh, gameplay reveal as well, obviously very excited for that. I would have thought 2042 is obviously a nod to 2142. But I think Battlefield 6 would have sounded better. That's my opinion. Obviously let me know what yours is. I want a 500 kills mastery dog tag for that taxi. <laughs> what the tuk tuk? You're going to go tuk tuk some fools. <laughs> no, we don't Holy care about that. Yeah, man, I feel you. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. It, it looks really, really good. Um, I'm very, very excited for that. Um, we'll definitely, hopefully, stream some of that when it comes out.